Welcome back to the DDO Tour Guide. Today, we'll be heading into the level 7 quest, The Grave Robber in House Jurafsko. There's something strange in the neighborhood, so they called us. We've got big packs to handle, and two spicy traps, but also two collectibles and two tasty chests. The very first thing will hit the locked door, so make sure you have a way to pick, bash, or blast it, or this adventure will be over before it even begins. Our quest giver is right on that island over there, Thaddeus the Drosko. So let's go and see what he's got to say. Note that this little island is here in the western part of House Drosko. It's right near the portal to the market, but if you came from the teleporter, you'll need to head up the hill, and if you came from the airship, you'll have to go down the hill and back up the hill. So let's get our quest on. Hello there, my name is Thaddeus the Drosko. I'm an investigator for House Drosko. We have suspicions about one of our residents, the Moonshadow Lightfoot. We believe he has been visiting the graveyard at night and stealing bodies. What's worse, we believe he's also been dabbling in the black arts of necromancy. Right? That's terrible. Something I can do? I have other duties that are keeping me from checking on this. If you can visit his house and check in, find out if the rumors are true, I would be very grateful. So go at once. And it's right there. So let's head over. As always, we start with buffs. Now, Featherfall and Jump are actually going to be important in the beginning of this one. So, here's our locked door. Sixteen strength is enough to knock it down. If you don't have the strength, you can pick it. If you can't pick it or knock it, you can hit it with a fireball. So, these stairs... Across the room, you see a set of stairs descending into the thick fog. The outside of the house is apparently nothing but a facade. These stairs are lined with force traps. So the way to disarm the force trap is at the bottom of the stairs. So which is why we're going to jump. And feather fall past all the traps. Let the rest of our party get past safely. Rogue light. As you can see, it's a really good quest to make sure you have AoE for. And there's a little side area here. Great. So if you are melee, you do want to have Ghost Touch. And of course, for all the zombies, you do want to have Slashing Weapon to get past their damage reduction or just carry a big enough weapon that you don't care as much about damage reduction. Either one works. Yeah, he'll buy some now. Okay. Got our first collectible. Another set, but we're going to rush forward so that we are in range of the caster. Because these priests can cast Hold Monster. And getting held while you're surrounded by all these zombies is not a good time. So we want to make sure to take care of that. So nope, we came in over here. We headed all the way over here to the west. Now we go north. Once again, we have casters. Take the casters out. All these guys are going to stand up to fight us. Which is nice of them. It's always polite to stand up when someone enters the room. As you round the corner, you see several tables with bodies on them down the hallway. As you can see, we have spotted the castle. So we move forward so that they were in range so we could blast the zombies as well. Because we need to pull this lever to advance. Uh, we pulled that lever. 
we can head back this way. And find yet another group of zombies to take care of. Note that you do need to actually kill most of the zombies because we do have a requirement to kill 55 and we're only like halfway through. Okay, more than halfway through now. That's our second collectible up there, which is going to be surrounded by some intangibles. I'm going to drag them over here so we can AO them down with the rest of these zombies. Now, just pulling this group, it will be enough to get you full kill credit and enough to complete the quest. But we're going to head over here for an optional section. This tra trap only goes off once, and it goes off when you open the door, but it is a big bang force trap. So we're going to disarm it first. Which means we are now done with traps for this run. So this is just a good way to make sure that we get all of our kills to complete the quest. Now, there is this other side passage, because there's a door here. You can actually open this door directly, or you can use the valve either way. But this is just shrines, and we do not need shrines right now. We're going to head back down. We came from that side, so we're going to turn left. The hall slopes downward here, going deeper underground. The hair on the back of your neck stands on end. We must be getting close. Now we have specters. And we have another optional room. Had a rare spawn. No chest, but get a little bit of extra XP for him. No, note that the you first room we came into. Moans and chanting through the door ahead. The first optional room we checked that had vectors in it on the right can also contain a rare spawn, uh, but we did not get him this run. So we've got four casters in here, as well as all the bodies. We'll take out our casters first. Pull the lever. Lever opens the door. So, we're gonna kill the zombies first. We've attracted some from the next room as well. As you can see, I am now in a sleep storm. So, if you have freedom of movement. This is a great quest to make sure you have that cast. There we go. Took him out, and that completed the quest. Note that that will not complete the quest. If you rushed here, it didn't kill anything on the way. As we said, there are two chests in here. Both right here at the end, no looking around, no hidden room. Just two chests to grab, and that will do it for the grave robber. So let's go turn into our quest giver and see what he's got to say. So he really was robbing graves at night and then raising the corpses. Well, I'm glad you stopped him. You have the thanks of House Droskip. Standard reward. We will take the blue one. Because we like blue. And that will do it for the grave robber. I hope you enjoyed your tour, and I will see you next time.